Who is the man whose photos are today forbidden in Iran? Why are all the websites containing his teaching, his words and even name filtered in Iran? A man presenting 30 novel theories which have proved useful during the past three decades of research. He is a man awarded 14 international awards for his theories and the foundation of two complementary and alternative medicines. Who is he? Who is the man spending four and a half years in solitary confinement? Who is the man who on his 13th hunger strike made a record of 70 days of hunger strike? What would the Islamic Republic of Iran have to fear from the slightly built, moustached 60 year old who wears plain western suits and peppers his speech with mystical poetry, Quranic verses and scientific references? Who is Dr. Muhammad Ali Taheri? Born in 1956 in Kermanshah, Iran. B.S. degree in Environmental Engineering from METU, Middle East Technical University, Turkey. Muhammad Ali Taheri is. He is an internationally celebrity founder of Halqe Mysticism or Inter-Universal Mysticism and its subdivisions including the two complementary and alternative medicines of Faro Darmani and Scientology with over 30 years of practical results in treating patients. He is an author of eight books on spirituality, self-realization and alternative medicine, with many more books ready to be published. Some of his books include Halqe Mysticism, Human from Another Outlook, The Human Worldview, Non-Organic Viruses, Human Insight, a collection of articles Management from an inter-universalistic perspective. Simontology, Faro Darmani. He is the writer of approximately 30 articles published in Iranian and international journals presenting his theories and the practical results of the two complementary and alternative medicines. He is the recipient of the degree of officer from the Royal Palace of the capital of the European Union, Belgium, and the mayor of Brussels. He is the receiver of three honorable doctorate degrees from the University of Traditional Medicine of Armenia, 2009, and two from the Eco Energy Academy of the Republic of Azerbaijan, 2010, for founding Faradarmani and Scientology. He is the recipient of gold medals and cups for the foundation of Faradarmani and Scientology from the Romanian Delegation of Education and Research, the Patent Office of Inventions and Innovative Research of the Russian Federation, the International Trade Fair of Brussels in Ova, Belgium, the International Cyber Genius Inventor Fair of South Korea, the International Medical Forum of Moscow. He is a scholar who has been granted a patent in 2014 for one of his theories, the method for applying a consciousness field to industrial processes. What were his activities? Muhammad Ali Taheri introduced his doctrine by legally establishing an arts and culture institute in Tehran and using not only theoretical concepts but also his practical complementary healing methods, he treated patients with psychological and medical conditions. The outstanding results attracted the attention of many medical doctors and health service professionals. The activities of inter-universal mysticism are not limited to complementary and alternative medicine, but include subjects such as Self-exploration in order to truly find the human status in the universe and to recognize the software-based constituents of human existence. Providing a precise description of human being, his spiritual development, transcendence and completeness.
name is Navender. The system mankind to attain the best quality of well-being, well-doing, well-having, and well-thinking. It, uh, it changed Identifying the reasons behind different categories so of different illnesses, ways, including uh, physical, really greatly psychological, greatly and mental disorders, and offering practical treatment. Identifying the worldview errors of people and their negative pain. impacts on physical, medicine. psychological, and mental health, and, I was and in good. turn improving I the person's person physical and psychological well-being, understanding the relations there governing the no ecosystem, and the status of the human being inside the ecosystem, which increases the person's perception of love, peace, and life motivation. Into universalism has really put on a different facet for me, a much higher level of understanding. In Iran, he held education classes inside his institute and he signed an agreement for scientific cooperation with two universities. The Office of Open Education of Tehran University, Iran's oldest modern university, and the Iran University of Medical Sciences. He started to teach part of his theories in these universities, which attracted the attention of many scholars. Outside of Iran, he also signed an agreement with the University of Traditional Medicine of Armenia and the International Academy of Eco-Energy of Azerbaijan Republic. He conducted Farad Harmony and Simon Toji courses in Armenia and awarded certificates for completion of course from both academies. At the same time, he started to publish eight supplements, including scientific research reports on the results of Farad Harmony and Simonology in the form of case reports and clinical trials in Iranian journals such as Holistic Medicine and the Science of Medicine. What happened next? Taheri was free to pursue his practice and face no restrictions up until two years before his first arrest. His courses and thoughts were noted and welcomed by a great number of people who were mostly highly educated. He held his classes, published several books and was permitted to deliver public speeches. However, as his audience grew, challenges against him began. Government restrictions increased to such an extent that he was suddenly forced to close his classes in 2008, after which he was put under constant pressure by security agencies to stop all activities and to abstain completely from teaching or defending his doctrine. Tahiri was even reprimanded for receiving international doctorate degrees and rewards and was ordered to cease even international activities and he was forbidden to leave the country. It was then that his students commenced spreading his teachings by holding classes in private homes. In 2010, Tahiri was suddenly arrested on four charges of acting against national security a cliché charge used for practically all prisoners in Iran and he was held in solitary confinement for 67 days. On May 2010, he was arrested once more and kept in solitary confinement for nine long months during which he underwent harsh interrogations to make false confessions. After three closed-door court sessions in which he was not given the right to defend himself, on October 2010, Branch 26 of Tehran Revolutionary Court sentenced him to five years in prison on completely preposterous and false charges. Muhammad Ali Tahiri has been serving his unjust prison sentence ever since. In Section 2A of Tehran's notorious Evin prison, the worst prison in Iran run by the Revolutionary Guards, in solitary confinement, another breach of his basic human rights. Due to the number of intellectuals housed there, Evin prison is nicknamed Evin University. 
four and a half years after his arrest and while he was serving his unjust sentence, the Iranian judiciary added another charge and put Tahiri on a second closed-door trial, this time for corruption on earth, a crime which carries the death penalty in Iran. Mohammad Ali Tahiri was convicted without evidence to death on 1st of August 2015. Dr. Tahiri has never had a right to defend himself or have an independent lawyer and only recently he was allowed to have a lawyer. This means the judiciary system of Iran have decided to execute Mr. Tahiri without any trial. Mr. Tahiri's case is a case in point where there have been allegations of serious deficits in fair trial standards. The targets have been very vague and therefore not meeting the required standards of international law and the alleged offences, even if proved correct, do not warrant on international law death penalty. After having received many video testimonies in which, despite the risk of being arrested by the revolutionary guards, thousands of Tahiri students and patients self-reported the outstanding effects of his teachings and healings in their lives. Amnesty International expressed concern that Tahiri's death sentence has come as a result of pressure from the revolutionary guards, which raises alarms about the judiciary's independence and impartiality in Iran. International reaction to Tahir's death sentence. The news of Tahir's death sentence was broadcast on global media such as Reuters, Associated Press, France 24, New York Times, Washington Post, Huffington Post, BBC Persian, DW, VOA, etc. UN authorities and many international human rights activists and organizations have called on the Iranian authorities to immediately withdraw the charges against Tahiri and ensure his and his students unconditional release. One of which is Zaid Rad Al Hossein, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, who called Tahiri's death sentence an absolute outrage and a clear violation of international human rights law. Ahmed Shahid, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Iran, called Tahiri's death sentence unacceptable and stated, the rights protected by international law encompass the right to have and express any belief that one chooses regardless of whether that expression is through private actions or public teachings. On August 7, United States Deputy Department spokesperson Mark Toner said, We are deeply concerned by reports of the death penalty of Muhammad Ali Tahiri. He added, The ability of citizens to exercise their rights of freedom, of religion and expression are fundamental principles of universally recognized human rights in international law. He called on Iranian government to reside Tahiri's death sentence and to uphold freedom of expression and beliefs for its citizens. Member of Amnesty International Community for the imprisonment and now the death sentence issued to Mohammadi al Ali Tahiri. Amnesty International has many serious concerns with this case. We have issued an urgent action appeal, which the organizers have a letter pertaining to that is going around, and I hope everyone here today will sign that letter. Sam Dasyari, Australian Senator representing New South Wales. One such prisoner of conscience is Muhammad Ali Tahiri, who has been detained since 2011. A founder of the spiritual group called Efran El Halage, 
He was tried on charges of insulting Islamic sanctities. The government of Iran must be made aware that the world is watching. The Iranian government should release the likes of Mr. Tahiri and other political prisoners and as a matter of urgency. And I call on the Iranian ambassador to Australia to provide a clear commitment that Mr. Tahiri's imprisonment will not be followed, will not be followed by his execution. Peter Murphy, spokesperson for the Australian supporters of democracy, said, Mr. Tahiri should be taken out of solitary confinement. His prolonged solitary confinement in every prison is a violation of the absolute prohibition of torture and other ill treatment. Andrew Saxton, Member of Canadian Parliament for North Vancouver. Today in regards to a petition that has been signed by over 200 residents of North Vancouver and the surrounding area. The signatories are asking the Government of Canada to call on the Iranian authorities to release Mohammad Ali Tahiri. A prisoner of conscience, they also ask that Mr. Tahiri be protected from torture and ill treatment while he is wrongfully imprisoned. Canadian Association for Rights and Truth considers Tahiri's death penalty an institutionalized hate for science, knowledge and freedom in Iran. The association adds, sentencing an individual to death because of his or her seeking the truth through science and spirituality is a way to use the law as a mere excuse to execute individuals whose thinking poses absolutely no threat to the state. Any attempt to execute Muhammad Ali Tahiri would be considered as a crime against humanity itself committed by the Islamic Republic of Iran. Christoph Strasser, Federal Government Commissioner for Human Rights Policy and humanitarian aid at the German Federal Foreign Office issued a statement on 19th of October 2015 on the deteriorating health of Mohammad Ali Tahiri, who has been convicted to death only on the grounds of his world view and his religious teachings. Helmut Gabel, human rights activist, Germany. Dr. Mohammed Ali Tahiri, <laughs> as most of you might know he's a scientist and he's a healer. So what did he do? During a healing session he had touched the wrists of a woman for healing reasons. Imagine committing an act that is forbidden by religion to touch a person's hand. He's being considered as a danger to the regime as he attained many followers and attracted too much attention towards his methods. Lord Carline, Liberal Democrat member of the House of Lords and co-chair of the British Parliamentary Committee for Iran Freedom. Lord Carline stated, the international community must strongly condemn the Iranian authorities' use of capital punishment as a political tool designed to create an atmosphere of fear. UK can play a vital role in this regard and HM government should join the international community in condemning and demanding a halt to the planned executions of Salar Shadi Zadi and Muhammad Ali Tahiri. Members of the European Parliament issued an urgent appeal to the President of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, to the head of the Iranian judiciary, Sadr Larijani, and to the international community to pay special attention to Dr. Muhammad Ali Tahiri's legal appeal against his death sentence. The appeal says it is especially alarming that after the July nuclear deal, which is expected to open the way to a normal relationship between Iran and the EU, the treatment of supposed adversaries of the existing government has not become more generous or humane. Furthermore, many internationally known Iranian figures and associations have condemned Tahiri's death sentence, including Iranian Writers Association, which announced that there will be no freedom and human rights where an individual is to be sentenced to death and corruption on earth for practicing a religion or having beliefs other than the regimes. 
فائز هاشمی رفسنجانی دوتر آف علی اکبر رفسنجانی ای پولیتیشن ویمنز رایتس اکتیویست ام فرمو ممبر آف دی پارلمنت شیرین ابادی ایرانیان لویر ام 2003 نوبل پیس پرایز لاریوت نسرین ستوده هیمن رایتس لویر جعفر پناهی ایرانیان دیرکتر سکرین رایتر ام فیلم ایدیتر Nargis Mohammadi, Human Rights Activist and the Vice President of the Defenders of Human Rights Center. Retribution increases against those aiding human rights. As stated in the New York Times article published on September 2015, those who give evidence to United Nations human rights investigators are facing increasingly severe reprisals. In this article, the United Nations Human Rights Council named 20 countries that took action against rights defenders in the year 2014. Among other cases, the report cites a five-year prison sentence which it says was imposed in Iran on Mohammad Ali Tahiri for cooperating with the United Nations expert monitoring human rights there. The Arrests of Tahiri Students Since Tahiri's arrest in 2011, many of his students and followers have been arrested and put to court behind closed doors for supporting Tahiri in ways such as attending gatherings in protest to his arrest or spreading his teachings by holding classes, publishing his books, running websites or even Facebook activities. A few have already been sentenced, while many others await their trial. To this day, only 16 of his students have altogether been sentenced to 37 years of prison, between 1 to 5 years each. Six of his students have begun serving their sentence. Ardashi Shahnavas, an instructor of Halga mysticism, serving 5 year sentence in Rajai Shar, notorious prison, one of Iran's harshest jails, under extremely rough conditions without access to even clean drinking water. Said Ardashir, one of the main publishers of Tahiris books and CDs, serving five-year sentence in Rajai Shar prison under extremely harsh conditions. After his arrest in 2013, Revolutionary Guards forced the full closure of his factory which imposed severe financial loss and psychological pressure on him and his family. Mohammad Reza Afshar, an instructor, serving two years sentence in Rajai Shar prison. He has been denied the right to call his family or see his three-year-old son after embarking on a hunger strike in protest to Tahiri's death sentence. Fahim Arafi, an instructor of Halqa mysticism, serving five years in Garchak notorious prison held in the same facilities as common and violent criminals. Mrs. Arafi was arrested twice for her activities before being taken to jail. 56-year-old Zibar Purhabi, another instructor serving three years in Garchak prison in extremely harsh conditions where inmates are denied clean water, fresh air or washing facilities. Aha Jalil Zadeh, instructor sentenced to five years of prison. Gatherings of Tahiri supporters in Iran. Tahiri students have been constantly holding demonstration in different cities and countries across the globe in protest to his unfair death sentence. In Iran, hundreds of his followers have been continuously gathering in front of Evin prison where Tahir is being kept and in front of governmental locations such as the Bar Association, the Islamic Revolutionary Courthouse, the Iranian Ministry of Justice and the Parliament demanding the release of Muhammad Ali Tahiri. The protests are silent protests mainly with no slogan and the crowd holds pictures of Muhammad Ali Tahiri 
and papers with handwritten texts such as Taheri's death is corruption, not his teachings. The teacher of love and compassion should be released. Taheri is innocent. And freedom of thought is our obvious right. At times when the security guards do not allow any pictures or handwritten signs, his students hold up blank papers as a sign of his innocence. In one case, the suppressive forces attack the protesters with batons and tear gas. Demonstrations outside of Iran A series of protests were held throughout the world before and after the issuance of Tahrir's death sentence in German cities such as Berlin and Hanover, in Sweden, Malaysia, United States, Australia and so on. Activists also took to the streets in London, Brussels, Luxembourg Palace, just in front of the European Parliament and Stockholm in a series of demonstrations in support of Dr. Taheri to raise concern over his dire situation in Iran. These protests will be continued until Taheri's unconditional release. A few other protests were held in Canada by Taheri's mother and sister. Hunger Strike Muhammad Ali Taheri embarked on his 13th hunger strike taking only water on August 2015 in protest to his death sentence to the authorities refusal to allow him access to his lawyer and refusal to hand him a copy of the written court verdict citing the reason for his death sentence. He also protested against the omission of a 250 page defense statement from his case file which he had previously written and handed in to his interrogators and also to the authorities denying him even pen and paper to write a statement for his Supreme Court appeal. Muhammad Ali Tahiri's physical health severely deteriorated. Tahiri had announced that he would continue to resort to his hunger strike until the fulfillment of his basic requests. However, after 70 days of hunger strike and the authorities' absolute silence and negligence, he was ultimately granted permission to meet with his family, who informed him of his students' deep concern for his deteriorating health and of the plot of the Revolutionary Guards, who silently planned for his death under hunger strike. Thus, on the 71st day, Tyler put an end to his long hunger strike to once more prove to the world how the Iranian regime is willing to accept the consequences of his death but deny him the right to defend himself. Article 18 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, to which Iran is a party, protects the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. Dr. Tahiri is a theorist, a scholar, and an author who has been sentenced to death merely for the peaceful exercise of freedom of expression, religion, or belief. How can you become his voice? Tahiri belongs to humanity. He belongs to this and the coming generations. Your support can save his life and give an end to the medieval inquisition that seeks the execution of scientists and a free man.